Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller divine light and today I'm gonna do a coffee cup reading for this week for the next seven days and due to the general nature of this reading please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for the others and if you're enjoying these videos don't forget to give them a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel subscription is free and you can unsubscribe anytime you want i also offer private readings now so if you would like one from me you can check out the description down box in below and see my Etsy shop link down there let's jump into your reading before further ado and let's see what's coming for you this week oh wow i see like a huge dragon forming here you can see the head of the dragon there are two eyes on the bottom of your cup somebody's actually either watching over you or observing you there's some eyes are on you this week you're going to be taking a lot of attention you can see there is some international you can see me as well connections showing up here like maybe a new path is opening for you or somebody is actually going to be getting in touch with you and delivering you some messages from another country i also see a bag of money this might show up in the format of a gift maybe from someone that uh, maybe but i feel like this is because outside i'm not going to interpret in this within the next seven days this is going to be maybe a little further down the line but you're going to start to receive the messages to today this week it's going to start coming in maybe in the fourth and the fifth day of this week fourth day probably i see someone's face here you can see there's a clear message coming through with someone they're speaking some words and this can be like seen in a mirror i see letter e in reverse and there is actually um seahorse present seahorse represents someone who's very loving and um a male figure who is very nurturing loving and protective um a father figure maybe this person can be speaking to that other person or might carry this um, characteristics within them it might give you a hand and you can see right behind him there's a tall character here this character reminds me of because of the long cloak he's wearing and it might be the hermit card which is a virgo um this can be someone who's in actually um like in a quiet um retreat they're not talking to people well what's gonna happen is with beginning of the week they're gonna actually break that silence and probably going to get in touch with you and the dragon is right here somebody's feeding the dragon by the way here dragon represents um someone who um can be like someone who's very wealthy and very like um very articulate with money who knows how to create resources or can be your energy actually connecting with this person this person actually is a very wealthy person will be sharing that with you you might even have like a financial advisor right here because i see a man feeding this dragon so he probably has like a lot of wealth and this will be spreading into your life this dragon has like a bag attached to on his tail and that's going to be actually coming through for you maybe uh, in the middle of the week or towards the end of the week i see here on friday this seems like friday there's a heart shape forming and there are two people inside of it and um, there's a horse head horse means wish fulfillment and you're receiving a heart inside of the heart this can be like something visibly on the surface something that you make it uh you may feel like this is your heart's desire but you're not sure of it but what happens is when you get inside of this feeling and start to create this thing step by step you're going to come to realize this is actually divine calling you're being guided to creating this future for yourself okay i see a phone line appearing here you're going to be connecting with like a long distance you're definitely going to connect with like an international path i said there's a man here holding a sword can be an air sign aries um nope libra gemini or an aquarius they're going to be sending you some news. They're going to be connect connecting with you. I also see on the bottom of the cup, there's a horse head. Horses means wish fulfillment. You're hugging with somebody. Maybe someone that you have been missing for a long time, that you haven't seen for a long time. You're going to be receiving messages from them or they're going to be coming over. Can be also someone coming from another country as well. And you're going to be hugging with them. This can be something romantic because it's in your heart space. This can be like a romantic connection that you have. Um, that you're going to be uh, reconnecting with this person 
person. I see some people coming together here towards the weekend. Uh, let me see. Towards the weekend is uh, still November. So uh, you're going to be celebrating. Is it the, the Thursday? Um, this Thursday? Next Thursday, probably. Uh, is that going to be the the thanksgiving 24th i'm not sure just let me know in the comments and maybe you guys are going to be celebrating with your family and loved ones this is representative of that i see a man who's wearing like um those french artist um like uh, the painter's hat so this can be someone very artistic in your life that is going to be also coming into the scenery uh, towards the end of the weekend um next week okay let's get into your plate now if you have a question a desire an intention hold it in your mind and let's see what the answer is going to be for that one i see some teardrops fell out of your uh, cup when i just opened it it just spit out um that spit out and i feel like this is going to be actually like um good news i'm going to be receiving and whatever that you have in your mind a desire there are two different things showing here by the way the first one seems like it's more uh, you're closer to the first one the second one i feel like there's some more time i see here towards the end of the week there are two people coming together having a conversation if you have like uh, something in your mind maybe an interview for a job like i said weekend can be also like sipping out to the uh, the monday as well maybe just um and um, your two desires actually merging into one and i feel like this is all about like financials and the uh, material support and they have it has some time um it's not really moving as quick as you want it to be but eventually the things will be actually falling into the place you can see it's moving it's not stagnant and the second line is also opening as well and then when it just keeps up momentum uh, it's gonna start to float into your life easily okay i see here baby deer it actually represents communication connection and innocence maybe this can be someone in your life who's uh, has very good intentions and might look like someone who they might not show that but they have very good intentions for you are you gonna actually um start to recognize that towards the end of the week i see you're standing alone you have like a fish on your mind fish means money something that you're catching and as soon as you do you're actually joining a crowd this crowd can be a representative of a school there is a car i see here if you're planning to buy a car or maybe plan to travel somewhere maybe like you're trying to find loan and support for a school and the third desire is coming in maybe left like for an education a scholarship as soon as you get that this is actually inside of a huge bubble so it's going to be supported by like a huge energy as soon as you get that you're going to be joining into this crowd i see a slight mountain in the middle of the week this can be like a little challenge that you need to to get over but you're going to be actually like very fast you're going to get over this challenge and get into another crowd which is because i see here like-minded people this crowd looks like a fish as well can be like an occupational course that you're going to be stepping into an environment that everybody's going to be there with the same mindset that's why you look like you guys are in in unison we have here the king of pentacles the um, uh, earth energy can be a taurus virgo or capricorn or also can be you establishing yourself like with your masculine energy it doesn't matter if you're male female masculine is not male uh, this is actually you taking steps slow steps towards the future that you want to create this financially stable future that you want to create or this can be a male figure showing up in your life coming to you with an offer this one has like a chocolate cake inside of his like uh, his hand like he's not really just putting this on his lap and eating it he's just offering it too and also holding like a beautiful glass of wine so he enjoys the earthly pleasures and also wants you to maybe if you um, wants to share them with you as well so you might if you're waiting if you're not even waiting you might get an offer like a, a stable offer from someone Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Like I cannot make this up. There's gonna be like a perfect union, male, male and female, masculine, feminine energy is coming together with the uh, sign of like abundance, the wealth, the grapes. You can see from like um one little branch, the um, uh, uh, tens of grapes grow. So this is actually a very good and abundant week. It's gonna be a very good and abundant week will be for you. 
and you're going to be uh, manifesting, like if you're manifesting money for sure, that's going to be coming your way. And maybe even a partnership, uh, a ba very balanced, masculine, feminine balance in a perfect way. A good partnership will be present towards the end of the week for you. We have here the lover's card. Okay, if you're creating love, for sure this is love. Or also maybe like a new business, a new job opportunity. Something that you, when you step in, the masculine and feminine energies will be all in order. Everything will be balanced and actually very stable. Also, uh, the, they're not going to be like impulsive things. The things will be actually in the very much unison, in like very calculated in the sense of like stable, stable. And the lover's card represents that this is going to be a, a perfect union match made in heaven can be love. Also, like the like I said, the career, the school, the friendship, whatever that you're manifesting is going to be like a perfect uh, connection for you. I have here from uh, asking given the Esther and Jerry Hicks, Abraham Hicks card. And the message here, only I know what is appropriate for me. We have the bird here she's holding. Birds usually represents messages. So you know what, when you hear a message, you know what it means. Nobody else knows what that means to you. Okay. And uh, the message says, when you remember that everyone who asks is given, then how wonderful and appropriate is it for you to make the choices for you? For the universe operates much more efficiently without a middleman interceding on your behalf. You always know in the moment what is best for you. Okay, this is like actually a beautiful message. So you're creating a massive wealth, a union, a partnership, a compatible relationship, friendship, a job, and you know what it is for you. Like, don't look at somebody else's perfect and try to create that in your life. Just follow where your heart leads you, okay? All right, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.